because she's saying that she feels like this is a slow process. I'm telling her no one does in three months what you have done. Like this is crazy what you've done. Yeah. Shelby Michelle with Farm House Living. Welcome back to our channel. This is a repeat home tour, but it's even better because not only are we going to show you Shannon's updates in her current house, but we're going to show you her renovation in progress at her new house. So it's like a two for one. But what I love about it is we're going to talk about the new house in this house and that house because you've been collecting and you are an amazing collector of beautiful things but your intention right now is focusing on the new house yeah and we could probably tour this house every week and it would look different because you like to move things around collect new things i like change i don't really get i guess the best way to say it is like married to something in a certain spot i like to move things around change it last time we came i was it either christmas or springtime either way a ton has changed you painted your beams white which when I walked in, I was trying to figure out why it looks so much bigger in here. <laughs> it's the beams. And believe it or not, I got a lot of slack from a lot of people about that. Like, oh my gosh, don't paint them, don't paint them, don't paint. The only person that told me, yes, paint them was you. Well, because I painted mine and it's not, it's, it was because they weren't these like glorious rough hued yes. beams. They were just simple. They weren't adding a ton light and it, these were so dark and the floors aren't dark there's not really a lot of dark in here or dark woods yeah. so i just felt like then the only option was to leave them dark or paint them and i'd rather have painted them than leave them dark so yeah we did it looks great so good mm -hmm. yeah and other updates you've made you've swapped out your furniture you have these beautiful ikea sofas and then a chair that you said was intentionally purchased for the new house. Yeah, I actually just bought that chair to have and had it reupholstered for the a, a particular room in the new house. But we had to bring it in here because it would probably go bad in the garage. Yeah. So I'm kind of loving it in here now. Are you going to have a sale when you go to the new house? Because there's some things I have my eye on in here. Yes, okay. I'm going to have to. There's just certain, we had to get some new things for certain reasons and... I, I kind of feel like purging and starting new where I can. I can't obviously start new on everything, but where I can, I'm starting new. And yeah, I'm probably going to buy all the same look, but at least it'll be new to me. Okay, tell us about how much you spent on that chair. Well, I spent $25 on the chair and I bought it off Facebook Marketplace because it was the right size and I like the curves of the arms. But I was looking for in the new house, you'll see. There's a parlor room and I there's not really enough room in there for a full couch or love seat with what I plan. So I was looking for like a chair and a half and that was the perfect size. Luckily, I'm a really good upholstery man. I ran, bought fabric and gave it to him and he upholstered it for a hundred dollars. Wow. So I got the whole job. Oh, I know. I was going to say. Amazing. He's you're going to see in the other house, especially when it's all finished, I having him do a lot of work for me right now. Yeah, that's awesome. So one of your, I would say probably the most popular talked about thing in the last tour was this hutch right here. I think it's the hutch plus the doors. It's just a moment that you want to like take it all in. Lots of character. This hutch is completely different styled than last time. You, How often do you change that up? Oh, I change that up probably every other I mean I at least change it up seasonally but sometimes when I get bored I'll just or if I'm shopping and see something then I'll change it up every other month. I mean. And you're yep. known as the bunny lady because you do love a bunny. And so you have little pops here and there of the bunnies. So typically there'll be a bunny in that hut somewhere. Oh, for sure. For sure. There is a bunny. There's a bunny. There's a bunny in every room. Yeah. Every time we go to a state sales, mom's like, should we get Shannon this bunny? I was like, I think <laughs> she has it. I have plenty. I did tell myself I'm not buying any more bunnies. I will buy hairs. Because they're a little unique and hard to find. But okay, regular, just everyday bunnies, I'm not buying. <laughs> so I have a real live bunny in real life. It may, some of you may know. And Shannon comes over and covets. She she really needs a bunny. I really, you need a bunny. bunny. Yeah. Have you ever been overwhelmed on what to cook for dinner? Like maybe tonight. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, me too. 
That's why I was so excited when we partnered with Green Chef that they're not only delicious, but also nutritious. With two kids, sometimes I just need a break. And I love that Green Chef sends nutritionist approved recipes that are good for you and packed with flavor. Straight to your doorstep, you'll receive recipes with clean ingredients like organic fruits and veggies, lean proteins, and whole grains. Sometimes the day-to-day -day dinners just get boring and mundane and we need something new but in a very convenient way. One of the recipes that we had was the pesto shrimp couscous bowls and I don't know that I've ever had couscous before but it was so delicious that our videographer even ordered her own green chef. Like it really is that delicious. Use my code farmhouse50 for 50% 50 off and free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Now back to the tour, guys. The dining room. What's different is the upholstered bench, which you said also bought intentionally for the new house, but I think it looks great here. Hi. I know, you know, I have that really long church pew that I normally have there, and I do love that also. But I, a friend of mine gave me that bench and I had it reupholstered because my goal was to use it in the sunroom at the new house. But I had to bring it in because it can't be stored in the garage. And I kind of love it. I love it with those chairs. And so I thought I might be getting a new table for the house over there, but now I think we'll be keeping that table. And I kind of love it. So I don't know. We'll see. This is my new favorite fabric. I can't really think of the name of it. There is a name for this particular pattern fabric. And it comes in every style and color. Yeah. And I love it. It's like um, a block print. I block think. print, yeah. yes. And so I'm looking at doing the upstairs bedroom with some block print and our home that we're working on for a friend looking for block print. So where'd you get this fabric? That actually came from Hobby Lobby, but you know, I saw a lot in Dallas at Children's Fabric. Okay. I had a lot. It was hard to walk away and not buy lots of fabric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So these flowers, are they grocery store or you cut them? No, actually I had a delivery from those yesterday. It's a new place, a local place in Rockwall called Urban Roots and she designs flowers. She doesn't have a shop, but you can still place an order with her. And aren't they amazing? They're amazing. You got the hookups, girl. She did a huge arrangement for me and she's probably gonna kill me when she sees this because I ended up needing flowers all over. So it was triple the size of that one but I kind of took it apart and put it she'll either she'll either want to kill you or hire you oh hey. yeah she's really good yeah, yeah. she's really good it looks really great because you do have fresh flowers cut from your garden yes but yeah. July hard to get it in July well, and I just have been so busy with the new house that I just haven't put the time I needed to in the garden so after when the heat came in I kind of just let it go and yeah. get it out and so we'll see. We'll start a new one at the new house and make sure. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so your kitchen, everything's different. Re I mean, not everything. Not everything. It's a lot. We had a small leak in the freeze last year behind the dishwasher. It caused us to have to pull out all the cabinets and, and redo everything. So I thought while we're doing that, we're just going to go ahead and do a kitchen remodel because everything's going to be up. We had to get new floors. We had to get new cabinets. And... I don't know if I talked about it the last time you guys were here or not, but I had always said that my biggest regret in that kitchen was, you know, we had that peninsula area right there. I should have pulled that up when we first moved in and added a new island. So you've done that. Yeah. And now you're moving. And now that's how that works. <laughs> you get your dream in yeah. your house and then you move. Yeah. But whoever buys this house will have a brand new kitchen. Yeah. Oh. And your new house is also a dream. So I think it, for sure. Yeah. And I think these projects, after talking to you, these projects in this home give you a lot of insight on your desire and your present you. Yeah. And you learn so much from doing a kitchen remodel that you don't really realize. And so doing it over there, doing it here, because we just did it here in January and we started on that one at, at around the same time. So being able to do it, I learned a lot about what not to do and what to do. And as a matter of fact, I'm doing an, a very similar island in the new house. Are the, the cabinets are in. The cabinets have started going in yesterday or the day before, so they're not finished, but the tile's going in today, so. Well, yeah. I hope so. They were there yesterday. If they didn't show up today, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> so but you never know. Yeah. We'll see how the tone of this video progresses. Yes. <laughs> yes. So with the island, was your goal for it to look older? Like, 
for it to look maybe like something from like furniture a hundred i wanted it to look like a piece of furniture but it also had to be practical so i had to put a countertop on it i really wanted it to look older it does not look older and this is what i learned and i'm so glad i learned this long story short the legs on when you're having a piece of furniture made the legs are usually a different color wood than the rest of the island so when you stain it it stains two different color woods oh, so i'm so glad i learned that we were able to figure it out and match it and it took a lot of work to get it to match um in this house but in the new house i knew to do that ahead of time mm. so you know once we did all that work to get it i just left it i my goal was to kind of maybe make it look a little bit more old and i thought oh i might put a bar on the side of it and hang some copper or things like that but I've been so busy with the other house, I've kind of neglected those small projects over here. And now the new homeowner will be able to. They can do that themselves. Exactly. Yeah. If that's but I had a, honestly, I never would have known if he didn't tell me that the... Well, we it took a lot of work to get it to that. Yeah. Great. But I'm so glad I learned that. So yeah. as the new house, we don't have to do all that work. Yeah. And in the new house, will you have plenty enough room for your millions of white dishes? Yes. Good. But you're just late. But sadly... <laughs> Sadly, I don't think I'm going to have room for that hutch. Oh. We'll see. I'm not I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Yeah, don't sell anything until you've moved in. No, no, we want, yeah. It's something I did learn because I was actually going to do a massive purge in my last move, and I almost sold a piece, and it worked perfectly. It ended up that I was so thankful I didn't sell it. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, wait till you actually get in, and if it doesn't work, then sell right. it. And then before you sell it, you call us. Oh, I will. Yeah. I, I have a lot of people saying that to me. I mean, we'll see. There is a place for it. I just don't know if it's going to be too much. Right. So we'll see. Okay. okay. We'll let you know what we think, too. Okay. So I think we can go ahead and talk about your primary suite here. That, it wasn't, not much has changed other than the wallpaper, right? Right. So we got a new bed. The funny thing about that is the color of the bed, it said it was... It was supposed to be off-white. It came in. It was not off-white. So at that point, it was, it blended way too much with the wall. So it was either send the bed back that I loved or do something with the wall. So I opted to add wallpaper. And now do you love it? I do love it. I will be changing the bed in the new house, though. Okay. <laughs> After you guys leave in the next couple of days, that bed's coming down and getting moved over there because our painters are going to paint it for me. Oh, and so it'll be white. That's a good idea. It was the original plan. Yeah. So that's good. Okay. Your primary bath. That was an overhaul though. That was a project. <laughs> we never yeah. showed your primary bath any of whether it was the spring tour or the Christmas tour because it wasn't done. No, that was one of the last things we did other than the kitchen. We did in this house, what we're doing very different in this house as opposed to the new house is we did most of this ourselves, except for obviously the new kitchen because we want to make sure that it got done correctly and then the bathrooms we did not do we wanted to make sure the plumbing was good everything so we we did contract that out so that was all of the bathrooms were the last on the list because everything else we were doing and we hired those out yeah mm -hmm. well i love to go wow. out it and the bathroom they look you. great and the new owner is very lucky yeah thank you i can't believe this is the second home tour we've done in so many days where Sell it. Yeah. they're selling yeah. and so i'm glad we got to get in and take a peek again yeah because you did i mean you did do you have befores of this house i do have some befores yeah i mean even the exterior you walk up it's so cozy and homey you have like the cutest chicken coop ever with your little white barn hence your instagram handle and wait a minute what are you gonna do at the new house you can't change your instagram handle you have to build a bar oh i don't know we'll see <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. So I, I mean, I, I, I think you can still. They can still live on. Well, there is a little. You'll see when we go over there. There's a little side shed room, which will actually be the pool house, but it's going to be white, so it could be a barn, maybe. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see. So also, we were. You do have some really cute spaces down the hallway as well. Guest bedroom. Your kids, which. Are you officially an empty nest? I am officially an empty nester. My Beat son, on. yes, left to go back to college this week, and he took a bunch of stuff that he didn't take before. So that tells me that he officially, he took his 
beloved record player that he loves. He took it back to college. It's and over. I know. When Shelton and I had him back, I cried. People know this story for like weeks. And I would have to wear sunglasses to the grocery store because I was so devastated. But then they come home with grandchildren and you're happy again. Yeah. So yeah. they get married. They come and it's fun. It all works out. <laughs> well, they're they're kind of a little salty with me right now because one of the rooms upstairs, my da- my youngest daughter, I said, it's the girl's room now. It's not your room. <laughs> oh. Well, now we say, oh, that's Susie's room, but that's not up in the new house. Susie's not going to have her own room. She's going to have girl. the girl's room. Hey, so, was, you, they're going to enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. That, that's all together when they come anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It's all a process. Yes. Okay. I'm ready to go. I know. I can't wait go. to go. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Okay. Blown away. So what was it? Like spring, early spring, we came because she wanted to show us. Yeah. We're just shopping in a state sale. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we have a wonderful, very long time family who's from the Rockwall area and they built this house, right? Yes. And they lived in it, raised their family here. And Shannon was shopping the last day of the estate sale and the home was coming up for sale. And what happened? Well, my husband, it, you know, came with a lot of uh, uh, the property alone. My husband really loved the property. He thought, it would be a great investment property, but I obviously fell in love with the house. And now I'm being told that I can't come back to estate sales because last time I went to an estate sale, I bought the house. Yes. <laughs> yes. But, so, but yes, I fell in love with the house the minute I walked in it. Well, when you, so you invited us over to preview it and it felt like you. Yeah. You know, so that's how I felt. Yeah. That's exactly how I felt. Yeah. You were going back and forth a little bit because Paul wasn't sure and you weren't sure. And I really was like, Shannon, this is it. But I also love your other home. So I was a little torn as well. It was a, everyone was a little torn, but you absolutely made the right decision. Oh, a hundred percent. Yes. I mean, in the beginning, my husband really wanted it to be an investment piece of property because the location is beautiful. When you see the property, you'll understand. Yeah. But like you said, I just felt like it was me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like yeah. I was meant to be. I think it has more of a cottage feel and your previous home is a ranch style home. Like you're trying to put that style in. Yeah, that. exactly. And you did it very well, but this is so much easier. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I am shocked at the way that you were able to remove some of the walls and some of the things that might have been a little you know dated and elevate this space because when we came in even I was like hmm, how are you gonna work that out and you did it perfectly you just moved enough of the walls and uh you made an addition to really make it everything your dream home it's not really and from the beginning, I said, I want to keep the characteristic of the home. Yeah. I love the home. I yeah. loved it just yeah. like it was. I knew it needed to be brightened and updated and things like that, but I loved it. So yeah. I don't feel like I made a lot of changes to the overall appearance of the house. Right. Besides the regular updates. Yeah. Like that. But what you did is you added function. We did have to add some function for our family and our lifestyle. But other than that, I tried to keep a lot of the same look almost of the house i just loved it yeah so when we came in you were trying to decide if you were going to make the primary bedroom an addition or if you were going to put it in this room which is going to be like the family room then right tell us a little bit about making that decision to do an addition over converting an existing space yeah i mean it obviously it's better if you can uh, do the addition financially like that was kind of we had to work out some numbers and things like that to find out what yeah, financially worked for us, but this could have worked as you as the as the master bedroom also. But we would have had kind of a tighter family room, and I feel like I just really wanted to have this big, cozy, this fireplace yeah. family room. So I was trying to do everything I could to do the addition if that meant I had to save money in other areas because I just felt like this was the perfect family room. Yep. And you also did an addition for the laundry mudroom situation. And not really so much an addition that you just moved a wall, right? Well, we just closed in 
a space between the porch and the garage. You had to walk in from the outside of the garage to get into the house. So we just basically closed it all in and okay. yeah, extended it out a little. Yeah, and your kitchen. So the kitchen was about small. And now I know everything's out, but normally empty spaces look smaller. It'll be else big. If you're ever going to house shop and you're looking at your wow, this feels really small. If the room is empty, that's why. Ever even a big room looks small and empty. Right. But this looks so much bigger. Yeah. Yeah. It and brighter. Yeah. I think that's why it looks bigger because it was very dark before. Yeah. yeah. But nothing that white paint can fix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I what I'm excited about too, we're seeing a trend like kind of pulling pulled from like the European style kitchen of no uppers. Mm -hmm. You have lots of storage plant. You have a butler's pantry, the normal pantry area. You have a dish wall. You have mm -hmm. a, a, a wet bar or a dry bar. You have another cabinet for like entertaining. I mean, you have a lot of cabinetry right. in this house, but no, upper, no uppers. Because the ceiling was so low, I thought that would just make it yeah, feel smaller. So we yeah. left the upper cabinets out. But it did require us finding other options for storage because you know, you've seen my house. I like stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like dishes. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about my favorite feature from the moment I walked in this house before you even bought it, which is the sunroom. Yeah. Oh, it's my favorite. So, the screen. Yes. Here's mom. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, where I gave up my huge front porch in the house that we're living in now, I gained in the sunroom. Yeah. And there is a front porch here, but it's not nearly as big as the porch at the other house. But I gained the space in the sunroom. It yes. I, I can't decide if that's my favorite or the pantry is my favorite. But I love that your primary bedroom is going to be off the center. So I feel like you're going to wake up, you're going to grab your coffee, and you're going to go hang out. Oh, uh, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what my plan is. <laughs> and you already have put in a pool. Yes, we did that really quick. We're pretty fortunate that we live in the county, not the city. So we had some luck with permitting and things like that. So they got it done pretty quick. Yeah, because she's saying that she feels like this is a slow process. I'm telling her no one does in three months what you have done. Like, this is crazy what you've done. Yeah. yeah. And just, you know, I just to give you credit, I really was like hoping you would make all the right decisions and i think you took this next level i mean this being the family room the addition of the bedroom your laundry butler's pantry i mean i don't think you could have done it better no and i'm not like oh well it's out girl this yeah. is like yeah we do have to see it finished so yeah. i think i yeah. i'm hoping that this inspires you number one the potential in a home i think in progress is so fun to see right but i cannot wait i'm excited yeah yeah. Okay, so I want you to close this video off with two renovation tips. Like, what's the most helpful thing if someone was to take a similar project, what they could do? Make sure you hire the right contractor. That's the key. Yeah. yeah. I think also just have a lot of friends. I don't feel like I needed a designer necessarily, and I second guess that. Like, should I hire a designer? Should I not hire a designer? But I think having friends that you can bounce ideas off of yeah. and call and say, Oh my gosh, I'm at the tile store and I feel like crying. Can you help me? And I had a few friends that have done that for me and that's been life changing for yeah. sure. Oh, that's so great. He's back oh, with that. Yeah. 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 Make sure you're a friend. Contractor. Yeah. Phone a friend. Those are perfect. Yeah, because honestly, like a designer isn't your friend. They're not going to realistically be able to tell you what you really need to hear. Yeah. Well, unless they become your friend, which hopefully well, that's you and that's yeah. Yeah. but you're that's firing away very fast. So you needed, I need an, and um, backups. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need a backup. Okay. So what's our timeline? I know that you're going to be Christmas. We're definitely doing a Christmas house dark. When do you think you're going to be finished with it? Well, they're saying 30 days. So we'll see. We're waiting on cabinet installation. Um, once that cabinet, so they're here now. Yay. Yeah. Once that's done, then they say they're going to knock everything else out really quick. So for yeah. and then I to make sure they follow Shannon on Instagram where she's going to continue to share all the updates in this home that is the little white bar yes underscore underscore yeah right? yes yeah, so it's my other side underscore my little, little white barn okay crowd it oh, okay like subscribe share with your friends keep following for more updates on shannon's incredible new what are we calling this house i'm calling it the cottage, the cottage. yay
Bye.